The department is taking uh, excellent steps in unconventional education and learning. Uh, we are putting uh, great efforts uh, in this aspect, which is the undergraduate research. Uh, so I am extremely happy and pleased that we are taking this initiative. Uh, we are adding a new dimension to the learning experience of our undergraduate student that we are sure that it will enhance their learning experience in the future. And this is even part of the enhancing their skills as well, because one of the skills uh, is to have this long life learning. And we believe that long life learning, partially at least, will come from uh, doing undergraduate uh, research. Uh, for me, the story started when I was a visiting professor at Georgia Tech. That was in the summer of 2015. Uh, this visit is part of the cooperation between the Center of Energy and Geoprocessing at King Fahd University from one side and the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department at Georgia Tech. Now, during my stay there with Professor Ghassan Regib as my uh, host, he had a motto. His motto was that differentiating factors between universities are really outside the classroom. So. We had lots of discussion about education and research. Together with our chairman, Dr. Ali Sheikhi, we had the objective of making this undergraduate research experience as one of the high marks of the partnership between KFUBM and Georgia Tech. So we came up with a, uh, an educational project. The objective of this ed educational project is to form the structure, to set the structure of undergraduate research at KFUBM, to integrate that into the curriculum. So myself, Dr. Hassan al from Georgia Tech, and Dr. Samir Ghaddan from King Fahd University, we formed a team, and we are working in that project. The first batch of students was divided into four groups. In every group, there is a mentor. This mentor is usually a research scientist, a PhD student. He will be mentoring two students. So in total, we had four mentors and eight undergraduate researchers. Uh, actually, at the beginning when uh, I was introduced to undergraduate research, I was afraid of that we will have extra load on what we already have. But this is actually was the opposite. Uh, involving in undergraduate research, it, uh, uh, it helped me to break down my problem into several sub-problems and explain each problem in a very simple way to uh, like less experienced person, uh, which actually gave me more deep understanding to the problem. I think having undergraduate research program is can help uh, the student to add the to add the uh, their papers for their applications in order to get the uh, admission for graduate studies. This also is the first time for students are uh, disposed to the academic research. It is so different with uh, the, the taking courses. Because taking courses, the, the teacher will lead the courses. And the, in the academic research, the students will lead the academic research by themselves. That's a huge difference. Actually, if students are exposed in this, in this course, then they have advantage of uh, time, I mean, time management when they are pursuing their graduate studies for sure they will be introduced, I mean, they are ready for, uh, for graduate studies because uh, they have been, um, I mean, doing literature review, they know how to read papers, how they know how to identify gaps. So it will be easy for, for, for them whether they will continue in the same track or even the, in, in the different problems. Uh, the undergraduate research experience uh, in the course especially is very different from what I thought before. You know, so this course, uh, corrected some of the misconception I had before. You know, the only thing as a student I see in research is only the final product, the papers. But here we see the progress, the work that goes before the final thing. Actually, it's, I find it very uh, enjoyable and uh, uh, I'm learning a lot actually, like uh, how to read a paper, how to uh, do a literature review, how to write a paper. And I think it will shorten the life of my, uh, sh shorten the time of my master uh, program afterwards. It's mostly, it changed my view about research more than anything else. Uh, so for example, I thought that research, research and academia is very far away from reality. 
that uh, the technology that in engineering they develop is not that uh, um, soon or practical. And now I get to appreciate it more. Uh, actually, b uh, before this course, uh, I was planning to continue my, my graduate uh, studies. And uh, this plan was confirmed after taking this course. I think it will shorten the time of my master program since I'm learning already a lot how to write a proposal, how to uh, uh, do your literature review, how to, uh, how to write your paper, how to submit it. A graduate uh, program was uh, a possibility for me. You know, I didn't decide on it, but I wanted to make sure what is happening there, you know, what I will be going into. The, this undergraduate uh, research course actually helped me understand what, if I decided to continue with a master's and a PhD, what I will be doing. You know, so it was a fantastic uh, window into the world of research. Uh, I would say RI and KPPM. Uh, because f first and foremost, I didn't know about uh, that we have uh, a huge institution dedicated just for research in KVPM. Uh, and also because the type of uh, uh, visit that we did within RI, uh, for example, the Power Lab, the Renewable Lab, and uh, so on, uh, I didn't know that anything existed such as that, um, and also at that scale and amount. I think. Uh the, one, the best one that influenced me more was uh, the Aramco Research Center because uh, you can see there the collision or the overlap between the industry and the academic research. You know, they actually explained uh, a lot of technical content and how that directly impacts their operation. I think the visit to Research Institute RI was uh, the most important one. Because uh, it's uh, because we it uh, broke the, b the barriers between us and the researchers at uh, RI. Uh, I like the visit to the research institute in King Fahd University of Petroleum Minerals. Uh, like it helped me to sh to see how is the science and the industry are related, how to relate the theory and the industry, and to see uh, applications, real applications for for what people wrote in, in research. Uh, this visiting has changed my mind in research for sure because I thought that research it's you know it's you do a paper you submit it in a conference then okay but uh, then I realized that Aramco spent millions of dollars to fund the research so I think research is the you know, it's the power of a company to produce new things or to be at the top compared with other, with other companies. For uh, students who are uh, planning to go for a master's degree, this is uh, a great opportunity to, to, to know what are they going to face. Also for those who, are, uh, who do not have any background about the research world, this is also a good chance for them. Actually, I'll advise this, co I'll advise this course to students who wants to uh, pursue their studies in master, uh, since it will help them uh, in easing the process of getting a master degree. Actually, I, if one is interested in research and he wants to continue his uh, graduate studies, I will encourage him to take this course. Uh, he will uh, learn a lot of ex research experience and uh, will, uh, will, learn, uh, will work with a mentor and will learn a lot from, uh, from him. So I would like to tell them to, to try to take the course. It's no harm. It will show them uh, what research is. And if they didn't like it, they can go to, uh, to see the uh, companies or something like this. But uh, the course actually is good. And I think it might change their minds about research.